Okay, so let's talk about the latest episode of American Horror Stories. This one was called Necro, and yeah, you know what we're about to talk about just from the title of the uh, short right here. So before we get any further into this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We've talked about the other episodes of American Horror Stories already, so go check those out if you haven't. And we're still prepping. We're still getting ready for American Horror Story. We haven't heard much of it yet. We've been seeing some set photos and stuff, but still don't know a release date or anything like that. So hopefully that'll be sometime pretty soon, but in the meantime, time let's keep on going with stories because i thought this one was okay i definitely do still think we've had some stronger ones with dollhouse and all that and i'm curious to see when we get to um the final episode if they're going to continue with the coven connection as they did with dollhouse but let's talk about this one called necro which kind of went a little weird at times but in the end i thought it was a good installment so we follow sam who is a mortician who very much so has a passion for doing what she does and she is loving every aspect of her job throughout and so at the beginning of the episode we learn that sam has actually lost her mother through a brutal murder after a home invasion but there's some other stuff we come to find out about this that kind of leaves us wondering how exactly is sam in the head after all of this so Sam and Jesse are together and they're kind of trying to have a relationship that works for both of them. Although they are in separate, I would say, like parts of their life, it seems. It seems like Jesse wants something more, I would say, standard and traditional and something more like long term whereas sam doesn't really know what they want in the moment so like i said sam is somebody who takes a lot of passion and a lot of time into her profession as a mortician and she actually meets charlie who is somebody who brings in the bodies and all of that and they start to share a sort of bond over death and working at the funeral and all of that and sam starts to kind of realize that maybe jesse isn't exactly who she wants to be and maybe it could be charlie and this leads to some conflicting things between her as she speaks to her friends and talks about the different aspects of her and Jesse's relationship and really realizing there might not be that connection that they initially thought was there and that spark. So one day Sam and Charlie are having a conversation and it looks like they're having a pretty good connection and ultimately Jesse interrupts to tell her like hey we've been waiting for you for this dinner and all of that you gotta get over here and Sam goes over there lights her off and there's like a mess on the floor and she starts to get flashbacks of that night her mother was murdered and just has a breakdown on the floor it was actually jesse setting up a whole thing where he was going to propose to her and she just is like you know what i realized we're not going to be compatible i'm not the girl for you you're not the guy for me let's end this and she goes back and leaves she then has a body that she is going to um prepare and as she opens it up realizes that it's charlie and she starts to have all of these feelings just that have been bottled up start to come out and a little bit comes out too much because we eventually see that sam starts to get the hots for this body of charlie that is now deceased and things start to take a turn and you're just there sitting like oh is she really about to and yes she does she does mount the body that's all we'll say because it's youtube and things go from there they go from where you expect them to go um with how sam is feeling about charlie and then the body moves and then she just runs out of there and then she comes back the body's gone i was like holy moly zombie is this a zombie is this her imagination what's going on she goes out and then she finds charlie and he's alive and he just says that it was going to be a prank that he was just trying to see what she would do he had taken like a pill or something to make it seem like he was dead and had like a whole like cut down the middle that was done by a friend who does like these sort of like special effects and he just wanted to release her real self and now they can be together he says she gets pissed off and immediately backs away and tells him to leave her alone we see months later that she is now working as a beautician and we see that her and jesse are getting married at the marriage we actually notice now that there is a video playing of jesse and sam's memories and then out of nowhere the video of her riding charlie that says as much as we'll say starts playing and my goodness everybody loses it they're just like that she's weird and all of this charlie even shows up and says that they weren't really a dead body but still it's a little weird that she thought it was a dead body and then we see everything just falter through we see some time pass and now she can't find a job anywhere because the videos the pictures and all of that of course start circulating online and they even call her a zombie f her so i'm not even gonna go any further into that you know exactly what they were saying right there and now sam is on the brink 
brink of losing it all and she goes to confront Charlie at the cemetery where Charlie talks about he knows what happened with her mother and how she basically like kept drinking from her mother's milk after she was dead and that that's how she was found and this eventually leads to Sam and Charlie having a connection because Charlie as well lost his family at a young age and they both have tasted death as they say and they want to be together and eventually Sam shoots Charlie and when he falls into this grave and then she turns on the uh, machine with all of the dirt to start pouring in and then she gets in with him and says I guess we'll be together forever and they start doing the thing down there and they get covered in dirt and that's how we end so they had actually teased this when they were talking about the couple that buried themselves after one was dead in order to be immortal forever so I think that's really what we see here now happening with Sam and Charlie Sam realizes who she is, Charlie realizes who they are, and they know that they want to be together, and in their sick, twisted way, this is for them the only way to be together, and it definitely is the closest thing they will get to touching death again with one another, and I think that that's how we pretty much end this episode with these two individuals that clearly had these sort of traumatic events happen to them early on in their life, and ever since then, they weren't able to be the true people that they were intended to be because of all of these events that happened in their life and now we have this ending here where they pretty much bury themselves alive and that's how they'll pretty much end it and it makes me think of that song from him i was just buried alive by love but anyways um uh, no more of that singing from me um so this was a good episode, I think. I liked it. I think it was a little slow at the beginning, but I think once it picked up in the middle, it really went ahead and gave us some very much so American Horror-esque vibes that we always look forward to in these episodes. The campiness and silliness is there as well, but these themes as well of overall were great as well to explore. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on it. As I said, today is the first episode day of september we have a video coming out on all the september releases that we're excited for as well as our podcast dropping today and we'll also be talking about all the horror releases this saturday on our podcast so stay tuned for that but i'm excited there's a ton of stuff planned and i got a lot of things that i'll be releasing as well over the weekend to get you ready for the spooky season we got a ton of stuff some watch parties lives all of that so stay tuned for that and as always i'll see all of you next time make sure you subscribe 25,000 subscribers let's get to it and make sure you hit that notification bell i'll see you all next time Stay safe, stay positive.